Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Danny's YouTube YouTube Show. Today my guest is Zach Sherwood. Hi guys. Zach is a very talented comedian and rapper. Which member or members of Wu-Tang would correspond to which beetle? We'll take these two groups of people, match column A and column B, and see who is who's equal. So today we're going to talk about your YouTube page. Great, I'm excited. When did, when did you start getting into the world of YouTube? My first YouTube video was in 2007, and I did a rap where I anagrammed the names of all the people who were running for president at the time. An anagram is when you rearrange the letters in something to spell new words. Um, so like Barack Obama, who would go on to win the election, don't know if you guys know. Spoiler uh, alert. <laughs> is uh, a cobra. Kabam! Will Hillary Clinton fail or prevail? She's been kind of hot on a non-chilly trail. And was Barack just a flash in the pan, or can he still strike like a cobra? Kabam! So that video, that first video was on a TV show, and uh, a couple websites featured it on their homepage. Um, and then there was a long, a drought period after that. Tell me about the hard times. The, yeah. The hard YouTube times. Sure, act two. Things get bad. Um, I think it was just I didn't make another video for a long time. I'm trying to remember what came after that one. There was maybe a thing or two. Oh, I made a video for my song, Plush Pig, with my friend Todd. What was Plush Pig about? Was it actually about, like, a stuffed pig? Yeah, I had a stuffed animal when I was a little kid, and it was so crazy because, as you'll see if you watch the video, or if you show the video, the pig had a zipper in its stomach that you would unzip, and then you could pull out these little piglets, and mm -hmm. the mother had... Like, you know those snaps on Western shirts? Wait a minute, is this like Puppy Surprise? <laughs> I don't know you don't what it sure sounds Surprise. like. It. No. When I, when I was a kid, folks, there used to be commercials that would run in between the Disney afternoon for a product called Puppy Surprise. Uh -huh. And I still remember the jingle. It was a toy that you'd get, and there were puppies inside the, the dog. You'd buy a stuffed animal dog. But you don't know how many puppies are in it or oh. what colors they are. Right. That's the surprise. How so. Do you how do you get at them? A zipper? I I don't know. I never owned a puppy surprise, but I remember the commercial because of the jingle. Puppy surprise, puppy surprise. How many puppies are there inside? Then they'd cut to like a little blonde girl and she'd go, I got four! You know? And oh, she'd... man. <laughs> surprise, surprise, puppy surprise. How many puppies are there inside? Four puppies. This pig had little nipples on its around its stomach that you unzipped and then you would attach the pigs the little pigs to the nipples so this and then little they would nurse piggy had fake nipples yes and the pigs mouths had snaps now that you deliver the litter you gotta snap them on the teats you go snap attach the first piggy snap snap and then the next piggy snap 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 and then the third piggy now get busy do the plush piggy you go shake piggy piggy shake piggy piggy shake piggy 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 shake piggy piggy so also on the mc mr napkins channel i released what remains my most viewed video of all the ones of that i've time. released yes the aggressive b Check it out now. Yes, sirree. Don't think less of me. But I'm afraid of the aggressive bee. Especially when he attacks. And I'm just minding my own bees wax. I try to freeze and breathe deeply. Try to wait out the bee till he leaves me. But he won't let me be. So I get the let me be bee heebie jeebies. That video was shot in the control room at the nerve center of Epic Rap Battles of History in the studio. Um, and wait was... a minute. Are you involved somehow with <laughs> Epic Rap Battles of History? I've been writing for Epic Rap Battles of History for, like, since season one, so we're in season five now. Um, Which is a great show. And yeah. you've been on the show as well. I have. I've, I've acted in nine rap battles at this point. Which characters have you played? My first one was Albert Einstein versus Stephen Hawking, Doc Brown versus Doctor Who. I'm mm -hmm. saying the character I was first. Ebenezer Scrooge battling Donald Trump long before he was a presidential candidate. I played Voltaire in a battle of Eastern philosophers versus Western philosophers. Egon Spangler, the role of a lifetime from the Ghostbusters. I played Stephen King against Edgar Allan Poe. Alexander the Great against Ivan the Terrible. That one came out not too long ago. Walt Disney in a in Jim Henson versus Stan Lee. Sherlock Holmes versus Batman. I once met a rich fellow who smelled of guano and pain. Holmes explained. I deduce this deuce stain is Bruce Wayne. A billionaire? Yes, his wealth would allow the 
this adversary of ours to afford the toys he needs? Thinks he has no superpowers. You want a battle bat? Bring it down. I heard he has a British butler. Good. Then he'll be used to getting served by English men. So you're doing the rap battles. Mm -hmm. It's going tremendously. Yeah. This is like how a real interviewer would do it. So you're doing the rap battles. It's going wildly successful. People are clicking and viewing. And then something happens. You decide to drop the MC Napkins name, and in doing so, you drop the entire YouTube channel. Tell us about that. I will. I had thought for a while that I wanted to drop the Napkins name, but was worried about, what does it mean? Will I lose everyone? And then I thought, I don't care. Uh, I'm just going to do it. What's the new URL? Just Zach Sherwin. YouTube.com slash Zach Show. And you now have 54,000 subscribers. And I'm about to pump out a ton of new content, so I hope that number jumps up. Mm -hmm. I hope that number stays the same. <laughs> I'll be so happy if it does. I'll be <laughs> like this. Um, and then you hit it with your most popular video. <laughs> I really hit it. On the new... <laughs> on the new channel, uh, which is No E. Yes. Featuring... Am I going to say this right? No. No. That's right. Gwatsky? G. Gwatsky. So yeah, we wrote this song together called No E. That E is the most common letter in the English language. Our song has no instances of the letter E in the whole thing. I was that chubby kid at camp who would swim with his shirt on so no light could tan his skin. Wishing his waistband was trim and thanks to my pituitary gland I'm now a man and slim. But that pain stays with you phantom limb. You, a very skilled rapper, me not a rapper at all, can we make this work? Hmm. Can we make this work? Make it function? unpracticed and practiced come together at the junction to make it real hot with hip-hop that's good as we rap about chopping water and in my hood carrying wood damn it i was so wrong no you were correct see that's the kind of thing that makes the people nod their necks back and forth to the rhythm with the hip-hop style while we smile YouTube page is youtube.com slash Zach Sherwin. It's great. There's so many songs on there that are, are good. Not like what I've been able to there. It's always great to have you here. Zach Sherwin.